we got to figure out how to do these debates better. Um, you know, like give these candidates a fair shot and a fair shake to say what they need to say and outline plans and policies so that the people actually know what the fuck you're talking about. We need to make, find out a, 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 a better way to do these debates. Look, there are a lot of people. Um, I was listening to uh, the Loud and Clear podcast uh, with Brian Becker and John Kiriakou. Excellent podcast. Highly recommend it. And uh, they were doing some reporting about it. Um, and one of the people, one of the questions that, they, um, that their field reporter asked was, would you support any Democratic candidate to defeat Trump? And they were like, yeah, absolutely. You know, some of them were like, I held my nose and I voted for Hillary Clinton because I didn't want Trump to be in office. Um, that's all fine and dandy if that's what you want to do. I don't believe in vote shaming anybody. I don't believe in... Um, in, in, in shitting on anybody's, uh, uh, you know, uh, their, their choices or anything. Uh, but I will say this. I think in the primary, it's going to be very important that you vote, uh, you, you push for a candidate that you want to see on the primary stage. Because we need somebody that, that if, even if you're going to say that your, your uh, single issue is defeating Donald Trump, um, then you're going to have to find out how to get some of his fair weather and centrist followers to vote for a candidate that's actually worth voting for. We need to find somebody on the Democratic ticket that is worth voting for, that you can trust and believe in, that has a record to show that they care about people, that is willing to have a conversation, that is willing to um, address differences that is willing to do it with some civility, <clears throat> with some understanding of what happens across the aisle. And not just that, but understanding <clears throat> why uh, people believe what they believe, like the differences in that, right? That's part of the reason why I'm, I'm back, like, I back Tulsi Gabbard so hard. I can't vote, but I, I mean, that's why I back Tulsi Gabbard as much as I do. Um, because I think she can grab a bunch of Trump people. Tulsi can grab a bunch of Trump people because she knows how to talk to them and she doesn't talk down to them. Joe Biden, guaranteed, will talk down to them. Uh, Kamala Harris will definitely talk down to them. Elizabeth Warren, Kristen Gillibrand, Cory Booker, they're all, they're all going to like, they're all going to kind of like, they're, and they're going to say a bunch of shit because they need to hold up their end of the bargain to the, to the leftists that they have, um, they have like, he made promises too. So, you know, Bernie Yang, uh, Tulsi, maybe Elizabeth, maybe Elizabeth Warren. Those are people that might be able to talk to the conservative base that are kind of you know held their nose and voted for Trump. Let's do a thought experiment. Let's do this thought experiment. Uh, let's say there, there's no Republican candidates, right? And uh, it's not an option for, uh, for you to not vote. There's no Republican candidates. They're all in the Cayman Islands hanging out with their money. You know, they really miss their money. They haven't seen their money in a little while. They want to see if their money got a tan. You know, they want to be as tan as their money. So they went to the Cayman Islands. Uh, they're not running. Trump's not running. Nobody's running, right? So it's just the Democratic Party. <clears throat> and now a bunch of Republicans have to vote for a Democratic candidate. Who do you think they're going to vote for? Who do you think they're going to vote for? You know, it's got to be it's got to be someone that cares about the same issues that they care about, right? So conservatives care a lot about jobs. They care a lot about fiscal responsibility, health care, um, the immigration. But but all of it is in, in context of economic reform and if there is someone to sit there and talk to them and say I understand why you're scared but let me tell you what plan I have put into place or will be putting into place to make sure you don't have to be scared anymore I've got your back I haven't forgotten about you all these other people that get rights to do the same thing that you do the LGBTQ community the immigrant community the minority community they're going to get the same rights as you, but that doesn't mean that your rights get taken away. Rights is not a limited resource. If we have a candidate that can do that, if we have a candidate that can talk to conservatives in their terms, in what they believe in, 
talk to them about how their needs are going to be met, then there's going to be a Democratic candidate that they can pick. Kamala Harris is not it. Joe Biden's not it. Cory Booker's not it. Tulsi, Bernie, Yang. Fuck, maybe that Mary Ann lady. Huh? Maybe that Mary Ann lady will be. But we need to find a candidate that's going to be able to capture these fair weather conservatives. That's going to decrease a lot of numbers uh, for Trump in 2020. I think that's what's going to that's what it's going to take. Compassion over competition. A lot of people, you know, who won the election? Who or the debates? Who won the debates? Who won the debates? I don't care. Uh, I want to know who is talking to people. Who is somebody that we can vote for? It's not about winning or losing. It's somebody. It, it's about somebody that that cares enough about the American people uh, that they are willing to take risks and talk to people and make sure that their fears are quelled. That's the important part about it. That's the important part about it. All right, I gotta, I gotta not talk for a little while. <laughs> hey everyone, uh, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and share it. Uh, these are little clips from a little segment I do called Road Reflections, where uh, I go live on my Facebook page uh, and talk about current events, creativity. Uh, touring what's going on uh, in, in my life. So if you enjoy this kind of content, you can go and like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Krish Mohan. Ha ha. Uh, I'm also performing live stand-up comedy all around the country. If you enjoyed these uh, little snippets of sociopolitical commentary, uh, it's very similar to what my stand-up comedy is. You can go to ramennoodlescomedy.com for all of the show dates and tickets. It's R-A-M-A-N noodlescomedy.com. Uh, and if you want to continue supporting DIY, independent, socially conscious comedy content, you can become a patron today. I don't have uh, any corporate sponsors or any small business sponsors just yet. So at the moment, I am people sponsored. I'm sponsored by you guys. So you can go to patreon.com slash haha and become a patron today starting at only $2 a month. You can check out all the tiers and rewards. Thanks so much, guys, and we'll see you soon.